and welcome to Name Hero. I'm Ryan, the founder and CEO. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install WordPress using Softaculous. So if you've been working with us for any amount of time at Name Hero, or maybe you're considering using us at Name Hero as your web host, we try to make WordPress installations as easy and simple as possible. So, you know, back in the old days, you had to upload files, you had to create databases, you had to uh, set permissions, you had to um, edit configuration files, and, um, you know, a lot has changed since then. So nowadays here, we like to make it as simple with a couple clicks, and then you'll have your WordPress website online. WordPress is, of course, the most popular content management system in the world, and it powers a good portion of the internet. And so anyways, I'm assuming in this video that you either have a cloud web hosting package with us here at Name Hero, or perhaps you have a reseller web hosting package with us, or maybe you do have your own VPS or dedicated server with us. Now this video does assume that you are using cPanel. So if you have a VPS or cloud dedicated and you don't have cPanel, um, unfortunately, then this is gonna be a little bit different. But I think the majority of people probably watching this video have a web hosting package or reseller hosting package. So I'm gonna to go to account here and log in. Now, if you're following along, feel free to pause this video while you get logged in. I'm gonna go ahead and do it here. I always like to demonstrate the logins in my videos because I use two-factor and I want everyone to use two-factor. So I think I'm gonna show it about a million times until everyone's using two-factor. <laughs> All right, username and password, and you'll see two-factor authentication. This is the safest way, to, or this is the best way to keep your account the safest. This will give me a six digit code. It's gonna expire in 60 seconds. Let's make sure it's just me getting in the account. Okay, so I'm in my Name Hero dashboard. And to um, get started with Softaculous installing WordPress, I obviously have to navigate to my um, web hosting package and get inside of cPanel. So I wanna find it in here. Um, I've got um, five services in mind. You might have more or less, depending on what you're using this for. But um, today we're gonna demonstrate with keydiets.com. It's got the business cloud package. So I'm gonna click it. Um, now you'll now see login to cPanel, login to cPanel. So I'll just click the top one, doesn't matter. All right, so now we're inside of um, cPanel. Before we get started, I noticed this um, introducing our new style glass. I personally do not like it at all. So if you see that, go ahead and hit dismiss on it because it's not um, that user friendly, at least I don't think so. But anyways, to find Softaculous, if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see it under here. So you see Softaculous Apps Installer. Now I want you to say Softaculous 10 times in a row and try to keep it straight. <laughs> um, no, anyways, um, right here is where we're gonna go. But you can also type in um, just soft and you'll see it um, under here, WordPress Manager by Softaculous, or you can just type in WordPress or Word and you'll see it. So that's what we wanna go to though. And you can see this brings you into um, the installer. So you'll notice right off the top, you have two options, install and scan. So today I'm gonna to show you how to install WordPress for a fresh copy. So if I go to my um, domain, so my example is keydiets.com, if I click visit website, you'll see it's a brand new hosting account. You know, I have no website, no content. So that's the purpose of this video is to install WordPress so I can start building my website. Now, if you already have a WordPress installation, maybe you migrated from another host, maybe you installed it manually, the old school way I was talking about it at the beginning of the video, um, and you would like to add it to Softaculous. Softaculous not only um, helps you install WordPress, but it also helps you manage your existing copy of WordPress. So it can help you do updates, even plugin updates, and keeps things all nice, neat, organized, safe, and secure. So that's what that scan feature is for. If you didn't install it initially with Softaculous, you can scan your, whole, your entire home directory of your account and it will add your installations here. But anyways, I wanna to install today, so I'm gonna click install. And you're gonna see it, I get a nice little pop-up that comes up right here with some different options. So to start us off here, we have um, our installation URL. So first off, we're gonna use HTTPS. You know, we have a free and automatic SSL certificate and we can verify that by looking in cPanel. Whoops, if I just go back to cPanel here, you'll see I have a domain validated certificate all set. If you don't have one, uh, go check out my YouTube video on how to manage your free and automatic SSL. But you're gonna want that because Google um, and other search engines, mostly Google, you know, they want um, SSL on your website for it to be secure. So we wanna make sure that we install WordPress that way because it'll save us the um, headache from having to change it later. Okay, so my domain is Key Diets. 
Now, if you have add-on domains or subdomains in your account, you might have a, a more domains on your dropdown here. So you want to select the domain that you're going to be installing WordPress on. In my example, I only have one, so I'm going to install it there. Next, it asks about in directory. So when I go, when I when someone goes to keydiets.com, I want them to see my website. You know, right now you see a blank um, index page. I want my website to pull up when they go to it. So because of that, I want to leave this blank. Now, if you put a directory in here, so for example, keydiets.com slash blog, this means that WordPress will be installed in a folder called blog. So for someone to access your WordPress website, they'd have to go to your domain slash blog. So that doesn't make much sense, right? So most of the, most of the time, you want to leave that blank. Choose the version you want to install. I always suggest going with the highest version, the latest and greatest. Um, you know, WordPress is um, free and open source software. Unfortunately, because of that, that means even um, bad guys, gals, have um, access to the code. And WordPress consistently, constantly are, are updating their code, you know, to patch security um, and also adding new features. So um, I always suggest installing the latest version of WordPress from the get-go, especially a new install. So we're going to do that. You'll notice a quick installation button here. So I could just click quick install and it'll kind of rush us through this. Uh, but since I'm doing a tutorial, I'm going to walk you through all these fields. So if you're in a big hurry and you don't want to listen and you know, whatnot, just click quick install and it'll send you on through a lot faster. But I'm going to go through each of these options um, in just a minute. So site name, you can change this easily after you're finished. So if you want, you know, if you know your site name or headline or whatever, you could put it in here or just leave it in my blog and you can change it later. Same with the description, you know, you can change this or sometimes they refer to this as a tagline. Uh, me personally, I just leave these defaults until later on I'll go change them. Enable multi-site. Multi-site is if you're going to be using this WordPress installation to power um, several different uh, WordPress sites, kind of like a network. Um, I would say nine out of 10 of you watching this video are not going to use that. Um, it is a little bit more complicated, so I would suggest you know leaving that off unless you specifically know what you're what you're doing there. Uh, disable the cron. I do not suggest doing that. We can um, do that later on if there's problems, but I'll just leave that default. Admin account. So this is an important one. You can see automatically we filled in some um, a username and password for you. It's important that these are really strong. If your admin username and password are compromised, your whole website can be compromised. So we don't want that to happen. So I highly suggest, um, if you're not going to use what we provide here automatically, you know, to just make sure you're using something strong. For your admin username, you can't use special characters. So you would need to use like a combination of uh, letters and numbers. So like I could do like Ryan or R Gray, R Gray, Gray, 2022. I could do something like this. Whoops. And I'll just take this over and store this in my password manager, which is to my left screen, which is why I look over there. And my admin password, so you know you can change it up a little bit. But I like to use this the generator here because it's going to help you make sure it's um, strong. And I'm so paranoid, I do this: I generate it and then I copy it. You know, so I like to have 100 for 100 when I'm doing my passwords. And I'm going to throw this in my password manager. LastPass, by the way, I'll show. I'll do a video on LastPass sometime. Um, so this is going to be strong and secure. You know, if it's if it doesn't say 100 for 100, please don't continue. Please stop right now and make it 100 100, um, because you'll do yourself a big favor by keeping your site secure. Admin email. I'm just going to go ahead and type in um, mine. Type my email address. Go on down here. Make sure you can access this because if you lose your username and password, this is how you can retrieve it. And so if you don't have access to this email, then you might be in trouble, right? Um, select your language. I speak English. WordPress has multi-language in it, so feel free to choose whichever you, you're going to be using. Select plugins. So the real power and beauty in WordPress is the ability to use third-party plugins. So you know if you're going to set up a store, or if you're going to set up a um, you know membership website, or maybe you want a discussion forum. I mean, there's plugins for everything. Um, that is what that's what you would use this for. Now we have some plugin sets that are predefined. So like limit login attempts, it's a security plugin. The old classic editor. So if you've been using WordPress for any amount of time and you want the, the old editor versus the new block editor, you can install that. Um, and some other stuff, we have the name hero set, which includes um, Lightspeed cache, um, really simple SSL, and WordFence security. I like that. So, um, you know, just kind of some utility plugins. Uh, we, you can, of course, um, you know, go in and add your own or whatnot. But this is um, just during the initial install, these uh, plugins will help you out. But it's completely optional. You don't have to install them if you don't want them. 
advanced options. So I'm going to go through these, but most of you do not need to edit these. Um, I'm just going to show it so you know. So this is going to be your database name. So when it creates it, and you can change this if you know what you're doing, but I would say most of you just want to leave this default. Um, disable update notifications. I suggest leaving those on. Um, you can set WordPress to automatically upgrade. Um, me personally, I do this because I'm, um, I would rather have WordPress update and break my website um, versus having an out of date WordPress. Just how I am. Um, people sometimes get hesitant to update WordPress because um, you know they might not update their plugins at the same time, and you know things might change and break their site. Me personally, I always want my WordPress installation updated, so I always click this. Um, and then you have another option here is you can do a um, minor version only or the, to the latest version. So major versions are when you know big feature changes come. Minor versions are most often security patches. So you could select that option if you're afraid that, hey, you know, it might break my website when it updates or maybe you've had your WordPress update before and it broke something. But, um, you know, I highly suggest don't just installing WordPress today after you watch this video and leaving it for 10 years um, because it puts your site at risk. And it also makes your site operate slower because over time, WordPress improves their code. They make it faster. So um, I do suggest keeping it upgraded. Um, if you're not going to manually do it, uh, I would suggest definitely turning on these autos. Table prefix, just leave that um, default. That is the um, database table prefix. Some people like to change that for security measures. Um, this is automatically randomly generated inside of here, so you don't have to worry about changing that. Backup location, we automatically back up stuff for you, so you don't have to worry about that at all. Themes, so aside from third-party plugins, WordPress allows you to install third-party themes, which what's, that's what makes your website you know, unique, makes it look a lot more professional. Their default um, 2021 theme is, um, it's almost embarrassing. I think it's a joke, um, to be honest. If you go to it, it's, it's not pretty at all. It does load fast, though. So maybe if you just want to have um, a blog that loads extremely fast, then you, know, you could use that. But um, me personally, I like to choose a nice-looking theme. So these are all 100% free of charge, um, and these are provided with WordPress. So um, you know, feel free to browse through these to find one that um, you know looks good for your business or is appropriate for your business. Um, there are themes all over the internet for WordPress. Uh, you know, me personally, I like to the, some of the page builders, um, the Breezies, the Elementors, um, um, the Bold Grids. You know, there's all kinds of WordPress theme builders, themes, framework out there. Um, so feel free to you know kind of search around, and you can even ask our team, and they can make a good recommendation. But these are 100% free. So if you're you know trying to set up a, a website really quick, feel free to you know select one from here. Um, I think they've got a search box, but it's kind of bad. Um, you can show all themes, though. Yeah, here's a search. It doesn't always pick up the best. So if I do like, um, gosh, let's say plumbing. See, it won't pick this up, I don't think. But nope, it just started the installation. So, um, but yeah, there's tons of different themes you can use uh, for WordPress. And you can always add it later, not even on initial installation. So since I went ahead and clicked enter, it's installing WordPress for me uh, without me even selecting my theme. But you can see WordPress has already been installed successfully on my domain. So now if I go to key diets, instead of seeing this um, you know, blank index, I see my WordPress website with the default theme that doesn't look too good. <laughs> but um, as you can see, now I no longer see this index page. I see my WordPress website. You'll notice the lock is up here. That's why we set it to HTTPS because we had that secure certificate. So now we know our site's safe and secure. Our visitors will be confident to visit our site. Um, so a demo page here, you know, that comes along or demo post. If I go over to here, whoops, got my admin URL. And this is um, the back end of WordPress. So when I go to uh, modify, edit my website, um, everything's going to be inside of here. So this is where, um, if you go to keydiets.com slash wp-admin, this is where you log in to that admin area. Now, when the video cut on me there, when I click the enter on um, the theme, it has signed me a username and password for my admin. Or actually, I'm sorry, we did that already. So we wanna make sure that we wrote that down or put it in a password manager, or we can reset it if we forget it. Because once you log out, um, you're gonna have a login screen to access this. Obviously, anyone that has access to your back end can access your website and you know, change stuff up or delete it. So of course, you, know, you wanna make sure that login's only um, for your eyes. That, but that's all there is to this um, Softaculous installer. I mean, it's super, super easy. Um, 
and makes your website, um, you know, we created it in five minutes. If I didn't talk on and on, we'd have been done in, you know, two minutes. Um, if you go in here, though, after you finish, if I click refresh, you'll see this will list all my installations. So if I create, you know, another website or need to um, have a, a, a blog that uses WordPress as separate, I can install it in here. If I have a subdomain, I could set up WordPress here. But also I can always log into my admin area by clicking here. You know, so if for whatever reason I would lose my username and password that I should have put in LastPass, I could always go back here and log into the admin area of WordPress. And that keeps things safe and secure as well without having to memorize that um, too, because you can't obviously get the Softaculous unless you're inside of cPanel. But you'll notice here that it's up to date. If WordPress was out of date, it'd give me a message, but I can click this um, drop down and get some site info. So look, I've got a nice little screenshot of my website my website URL, my site name. Um, I've got all the details that we configured. Um, it's up to date. Um, I can auto upgrade the core. If I wanted to change that, I could change it here and automatically upgrade um, you know, the plugins. Um, search engine visibility, this is important. Let me talk about this for a second. I would say nine out of 10 of you watching this video wanna leave search engine visibility enabled. But if you don't want your WordPress website to be crawled by search engines, meaning if you don't want your website in Google. I don't know why you'd want that, but if you don't, um, you could click disabled and this will make sure that when Google goes to crawl your site, it doesn't include it. So again, I don't think anyone's going to want to do that, but that option is there. It's interesting they put it right there. Um, the cron, leave that running unless someone tells you otherwise. You know, your developer, the Name Hero support team, um, you know, leave this just the default unless there is an issue. Debug mode, obviously, you know, unless there's an error, keep that disabled. Um, and then once again, we have the auto upgrade WordPress themes, which I enabled. You don't have to, um, you know, it's completely up to you. We then have um, the database details, you know, the stuff we kind of covered, the username and the name of the database. Um, you can view the actual database if you'd like, which will take you to PHP My Admin. You can clone your site inside of Softaculous. So cloning is a, a copy. So if you just want, you know, a direct copy of your WordPress, but in another installation, you can do that here or you can do staging. So most often, you know, you want to duplicate if you're um, trying to stage your website. And when I say stage, I mean, maybe you're wanting to change your design or your theme, but you don't want to do it on your live site, then you would use the staging function for that. It creates a whole other um, WordPress installation where you can um, install your new design, edit it, and then push it back out to the live site. I'm not going to cover that in this video because as you can tell, there's a lot to it. Um, back up and restore, we automatically do these for you inside of cPanel, so you can just really ignore these options here um, because everything's done inside of cPanel as far as backups are concerned. Um, remove, if you want to remove it from Softaculous, so this won't actually delete WordPress, this just removes it from Softaculous managing it. Uninstall, we'll delete everything. You'll delete your WordPress installation, your, all your files, and your database. So only do that um, if you really want to delete your website. And we did have the option here if we wanted to change our username and password, we can do it inside of here as well. So that's how you install WordPress with Softaculous. You know, it's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Just a couple clicks, and then we get into our WP admin area. Um, this is a whole other beast to tackle, so I'll save this for a, um, another video, you know, on how to configure your back end, what plugins to use, um, you know, how to set up caching. You can even, you know, change your theme inside of here. Uh, but everything on your website, you know, adding pages, adding posts, adding um, designs, titles, headlines, SEO, everything is done right here in this admin area. And the front page, again, of your website is right here where we installed it at keydiets.com. So that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, feel free to let us know. Um, we try to make this as easy and straightforward as possible, not only just to install WordPress, but also able to fully manage your WordPress website. You know, if you wanna uh, modify stuff, update stuff, you can do it right, si right inside of Softaculous. Um, just one more time, so we don't, um, you know, so no one gets confused on how to access it. If I go back to my name hero client area, right here, I'm just going to go from the beginning here. So as always I do videos and people ask, you know, how do I get back to it? I log into Name Hero. I go to my cloud. I'm finding my package that I have uh, WordPress on, which is my business cloud. I'm going to go to cPanel. And I want to look for WordPress. So I just type in Word and right here. And you can see, here's my installation I did. Um, I can log into the admin area, change a password, or do updates. I can click that drop down to have all those options we were just talking about. If 
I need to go edit my website, I just click log in, and here I am. I'm in my admin area. I can go add my plugins, change my design, work on my website right here. So that's how you do it. Let us know if you have any questions. You know, we certainly enjoy hosting your website. If you're not yet hosting with us here at Name Hero, you know, we'd certainly love to have your business. So um, you know, feel free to comment on this video if we helped you out. Um, I certainly appreciate the thumbs up on the video because that lets me know, hey, you know, someone this really helped someone. So we need to do more content like this. Um, you also want to make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because as we produce more content and even have sales, you'll be the first to know if you're subscribed to our YouTube. Most often the YouTube video comes out before we type a blog or email someone or you know, email our list. So I always um, you know, highly suggest to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, again, if you have any questions or problems or whatnot, feel free to let us know at the, below this video. I'd love to help you out. And of course I can point you off to our um, support team if it's something that um, I can't answer, but I'm pretty confident that um, you should be able to do this pretty straightforward and easy. Thanks so much for watching and using us here at namehero.com.